Fortnite Squad. Here are five new advanced building tricks that only the pros use, presented by Fortnite Master. In this video, we cover five new advanced building tricks. Be warned, a couple of these tricks are extremely difficult to pull off, but that's to be expected with a game like Fortnite, where players' skill with building keeps evolving in ways we've never imagined. Mastering these new building tricks will undoubtedly take your game to the next level and aid you in outplaying even the best players. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first trick we're going to cover is the most basic of all five, but is still an essential tool in every top player's repertoire. Blocking other players with pyramids is something every top player does, and for good reason. First, it completely stops the other player's forward momentum in a build battle, forcing them to stop and break through the pyramid or turn and take another path up. This split second of hesitation is typically all you need to retake high ground, as long as you're fast. You can also use this trick to block a player and get a decent shot while they're trying to figure out how to react, or even trap kill them from underneath. While the concept and muscle memory for this trick might take a little time to learn, the execution is relatively easy. If someone ramps above you, take out your pyramid and aim at about two-thirds of the way up the ramp. This will allow you to place a pyramid above that ramp. The window for placing this pyramid is pretty forgiving, even more so when you jump, so it shouldn't be too hard to learn. After blocking them, you have a few options. You could turn to retake height, jump to the side for a shotgun shot, or try to trap kill them. Now you might be thinking, what if the player who ramps above me places a floor under their ramp, blocking me from placing the pyramid? This is a valid concern, but top players have already adapted. To counter this, you need to place the floor yourself before they have the chance. Then you can edit a corner to give yourself the angle you need to place a pyramid above them. This next trick was popularized by pro player Ghost Wefo, hence the name. We love this strat for retaking high ground, as it's effective and typically unexpected. In one of our previous videos, we showed a strat where you place a cone on a ramp above you when ramping up to retake high ground in order to block somebody who might be following. This is sort of the evolution of that, because the Thuifo cone blocks an enemy immediately above you while also hindering enemies two levels above. This trick is a little harder to execute. The concept is simple. When ramping to retake height, turn and place a wall on your top ramp, then a pyramid above that. The pyramid is essential because it blocks players two levels above from placing a ramp in that spot. Here are a couple of tips for executing this trick. First, in order to maintain as much forward momentum as possible, you need to jump and do a 180, build the wall slash pyramid, then turn back before landing. This may take some practice to master at full speed. When practicing, make sure you see the wall place before switching to your pyramid. If you get too antsy, you'll end up blocking yourself off. And when you turn back around after doing this trick, make sure you're looking down far enough to place a ramp below you. It's pretty easy to miss the bottom ramp after this trick and fall down. As always, there is a slightly more advanced version of this trick. After turning and placing the wall, it's possible to place a pyramid on the opposite side of that wall as well as right above you. This not only stops a player two levels above from continuing to ramp up, but it physically blocks them with a pyramid as well, stopping their momentum. In order to place a pyramid on the opposite side of that wall, you need to jump and place your cursor slightly above the wall. It's a pretty precise spot, and note that if you accidentally place the pyramid above you first, you won't have an angle to place the other one, which is what makes this trick especially precise. Another slightly easier way to achieve the same effect is to turn and place a ramp with a cone on top. Credit to Nep Alchemist on Reddit for bringing this to our attention. If you want to make it even harder for the enemy to get around that, you can place three total pyramids instead of one, blocking each side as well. Here's what it looks like from the side to show you just how disruptive this trick can be. This third trick is the most difficult in the entire video. Even in a controlled environment, our Reiner and Fortnite master, FaintXO, still has quite a bit of trouble pulling this one off consistently. Nevertheless, the trick is effective and will definitely catch your opponents off guard. Credit to this insane Japanese player, Riley, for showing this is humanly possible. On to the explanation. This trick is essentially a super complicated version of the side jump that allows you to block the player above you with a pyramid. First, for this even to be possible, you need to make sure you're placing a floor at the top of your ramp to block yourself before the other player, who presumably has height advantage, can block you. This is a good habit in general because it allows you more options like editing through, so you should try getting used to it if you haven't already. Here's where it gets hard. Edit one side of your floor and place a wall above you on the side of the pyramid. The angle to build this wall is pretty narrow, so play around with it. 
It helps if you turn almost 90 degrees to get the wall placement into the side jump. Now for the jump, you will need to be at somewhat of an awkward angle, but you need to execute this almost perfectly because you need the height to place a pyramid on the opposite side of the wall you just built. The angle for this is the same as the more advanced version of the Thuifo cone. Your cursor needs to be slightly above the wall in order to get the pyramid on the opposite side. The caveat is that you need to do this all while in mid-air after a side jump that has to be pretty well executed to even get the angle. Then after placing the pyramid, quickly catch yourself with the floor. This trick gives you the height advantages of a normal side jump, protection while making the jump, and the ability to block your opponent at the same time. The only problem is that this will take a lot of practice to execute at full speed because of how insanely difficult it is. This fourth trick is definitely easier than the last, but useful nonetheless. Let's say you're trying to retake high ground with ramps above and below you. Most players will try to block you off or wait for you to turn and then shoot you. Instead of walking into either of those situations, this trick lets you turn around in an unexpected way to keep ramping up. When you want to make the turn, place one more ramp above you, turn and jump to the side, placing a floor beneath you and another connected floor, then proceed to ramp up in the opposite direction, taking the height with 90s or whatever suits you. Not many players do this, so it would likely confuse most players you go up against, allowing you to retake height or regain the advantage through unpredictability. This last trick is something we've been seeing a handful of pro players start to do. Instead of the conventional side jump or turning to ramp up after getting blocked, some players have been simply begun to sidestep to keep their momentum and continue ramping up. This can come in handy in a couple of situations, like build fights where you get blocked, or even pushing somebody who has high ground. Credit to Exalted on YouTube for bringing this to our attention. The trick itself is simple. When you're ramping up with a wall in front, just connect another wall on the side, place a ramp, and continue building up. The angle for connecting the second wall to the side can be a bit tricky, but it helps if you look slightly down and to the right or left, depending on which direction you're sidestepping. Again, you can do this quickly when someone blocks you with the floor slash pyramid. It could also be considered an evolution of the typical high ground ramp push, which is just ramping up with pyramids and editing through them. Using this trick, you can go back and forth between the two ramps when pushing for high ground. And if you add pyramids into the mix, it gives you cover from shots, making you harder to track, and gives you more options overall. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. 